Hi everyone, so welcome to another tutorial. I've been getting a few comments saying, you know, the new website isn't working and we need an alternative and we need it to be free. So I've made another tutorial and hopefully it's not as simple as the previous one, but hopefully it should be better than the previous one. So first thing, make a new document. Um, width and height 150 pixels by 150 pixels make sure you're in color mode CMYK and click OK <clears throat> right so the first thing that we want to do is make a lot of layers so I'm going to create 70 layers Let me do that really quickly and once we have these layers we're gonna basically Put our letters into each layer so once we have 70 layers I'm going to start labeling them so the first layer well layer 70 I'm gonna label a and that's for me that's gonna represent capital A and when I click double A that's a small A and I'm just gonna repeat that over and over again until I get all of them <clears throat> so I've just sped this up now this is this is quite a tedious process so what I've done is I've made a template document available so any of you guys can download it as well and I've also put the special characters in as well as well as the numbers Now that we've made all the layers, we have everything available, we're going to get the blob brush tool or shift B and now you can do this with a mouse or a Wacom tablet. I'm going to show you with the mouse first just to show that it is achievable. Just change a few settings around. I'm going to increase the smoothness, um, increase the size a bit and hit the smoothness and yeah so that should be all right and hit ok and so this is me doing it with a mouse and as you can see the results are pretty good yeah so until you just get a nice one and once you get what you have wanted to achieve move on to the next layer and uncheck the layer before that so where the eye mark is in the layer section just uncheck that okay so I'm just gonna speed through the rest of them and the rest of them I'm gonna be using my Wacom tablet okay so I'm just getting the tablet and I'm gonna speed the video up at this point because it is a, it it does take a bit of time now there's nothing now there's nothing difficult about what I'm doing. It is still a very simple process. It's just that it takes a bit, a bit longer than the previous tutorial I made. <clears throat> now, for people who don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can use Inkscape, which is a free program. Um, it's still it, you can still do the same thing with that. If you want to have a piece of paper and write your letters down you can still do that and all you have to do in Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape is you can either use an automated process where it will where it will copy sort of you know it'll remove the background and vectorize your vectorize your letters or you can trace around them either way okay so I'm just moving on to the numbers now now there's all sorts of special characters you can have. I've only kept to 70 layers, but you can have as you know as many as many as you want, as many letters as you want. And the good thing about the process I'm doing now is that you're not relying on a website like you were before. You can really just this is it. This is the whole package. There's nothing that can go wrong with it. Um, you have Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to be using another freeware program later on called font forge um, and again you just load them up to there and you should be good so I've just checked them all and what I'm gonna do now is first of all save it so you don't lose it 
and like I said I will be providing the template as well so you can just instead of creating all these layers they're all already created and labeled okay so I'm gonna save the file and now what we need to do this is important we're gonna now we can we need to save them as an SVG file now we can go save and SVG you know one at a time but I've got a script available so you go to go to script multi exporter update updated script I'm gonna open that again I'll give you a link on where you can find this it's a brilliant tool make sure you uncheck trim edges export format SVG and I'm gonna save it onto my the folder where I want it to be so AMYI font and then click export and it'll basically automate the whole process for you it's a script so it's gonna save the SVG files all the layers as a single file and it's gonna keep on doing that now you do get this pop-up I just click OK I'm not exactly sure what it means but it, it works out okay so let's just get that to load and then I'm gonna click font forge now free web program really good click new and then it'll open up a table where you have all the letters you want so click on the letter that you want to load first so in this case I'm gonna go with the letter A capital A and then you go to file in the window box import and just go to the folder where you saved it pictures not that one and change the format to SVG and then find the corresponding capital letter so my single letter A was a capital letter uh, so there we go and you can see it also pop up on the next side and basically we're going to repeat that process again now yes it is longer but the results you achieve on this program are far far better far superior than what you were getting on the website um, the website was an automated process uh, yes it was easier it was quick but the the resolution the results I don't think were that good in this case you, you have complete freedom to manipulate the whole text in this case I can enlarge the letter B if it's not correct I can move it up and down I can select each in, in individual point and move it around just to get what I wanted and I mean I mean it's a it's a font for which it's a font creating program you can't go wrong with it um, so yeah so basically I'm gonna keep on doing that and just keep doing that for all the letters import and make sure it's SVG selected so you can actually see the files as well now I'm not sure if there is a script available again an automated process which can do all this for you if anyone is aware do let me know it'll just make the whole process a lot easier but like I said it's a simple process it's just that it might take you a bit of a while to do so again I'm just loading on all my all my fonts
now I'm going to go to file save you don't want you don't want to lose your font let's save it I'm gonna save it in the same folder as last time and hit save and now let's create our font so I'm going to go to generate fonts and at the moment I've got it as a true type TTF um, this is the font you can upload on the font uh, the website or you know any other sort of font websites and click generate again it gives you this sort of error which is not real I'm not sure if it's a real error but you just click yes and click generate and you should be done so if you go to the folder now I'm just gonna open the folder up <clears throat> and and you should be able to see there we go so again if I double click it now AMYI there we go so first impression yes it's very widely spaced so you have to go back into the program and you're gonna have to um, adjust the letter spacings I'll quickly show you how to do that you can install it as well I'm gonna quickly open notepad just to see how it's working but the, but the font itself I mean it, it works and from from the previous website anyway it's it's much more sharper when you do it in the program yeah so anything to do with the kernings and the spacings and all those sort of font technicalities um, the program can adjust it you can make your fonts really really professional you can upload them onto the websites you can um, you know create your own fonts and do whatever you want with them so it's working really well so I'm just gonna show you now how to adjust the uh, spacing so go to metrics and go to new metrics window and in the text box just type something random just to see what it's like at the moment and what you want to do is go to the spacing setting so mine was a bit lower I changed it to 350 so it increases the spacing between the words but if you go to metrics or to adjustment of the width that will automatically adjust the letters between each word as well and look at that it looks much better already thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps you guys if if there are some issues let me know and yeah thank you